So once a horse is established in understanding the piaf and what I want him to do, I am not afraid to do it out of the walk. I sometimes even, you know, do a little rain back into the piaf. And so we'll see if we show you that today. I'm not sure if Darby's going to need that today. But I always want to make sure that I can feel when the, what those hind legs are doing. You know, so left hind, right hind, left hind, right hind, left hind, right hind. And then as I want them to pee off, I'm going to gather my energy. I'm going to slide my legs back a little bit. Then it becomes a little left, right, 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 walk. So then I, I slide my legs back down and relax. And then again, I'm going to gather him. I'm going to get the energy going inside myself, raise my vibration, slide my legs back, left, right, left, right left right left right left right if i feel i want a little bit more you know energy then i can touch them a little bit you know on the croup to get the hind legs a little bit more under good boy i'll just change direction so you can see it from this other side <laughs> he's, he's already ready that's the fun thing about darby he's always he's always ready to go good boy and so again, I start to close my knee and sort of gather that he's not going to, when I start to energize him with my leg, you know, he's not going to like, you know, want to jump forward. I have a feeling of, of gathering him, you know, and that's going to come from my knee and my core, my intention, my shoulder blades that say, ooh, you know, something something big is coming. I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a lot of energy, but I don't want you to go anywhere. And of course I can't be, you know, pulling, pulling, pulling on his mouth because I need his hind legs to do something. Because again, we always have to remember if I pull on the right rein, I put a hand brake on his right hind leg. If I pull on the left rein, I put a hand brake on the left hind leg. And so we've got to, of course, always create this continual freedom of the, the hind legs generating, you know, their energy. But again, I want to bring my body up, feel, feel the hind legs, good, whoops, good, yep, good, I alternate my legs, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, sitting tall, sitting down, right, left, right, left, right, left, a little touch with the stick, good boy, and then I walk and I relax, good job, buddy. And so also, I'll show you a little bit now how it pertains to the rain back, as I was saying earlier about that the rain back is the sister or brother to the piaf. The passage is the sister to the medium trot. So even though they're together in the Grand Prix test, you know, there, there is a little bit different aids and a little bit different, you know, energy to the two of them. Good. So again, I want to feel like I slide my legs back and I bring his chest kind of back to his hind legs. Good, and then I can right, right away get a little pee off from there. Left, whoops, you're okay, good, no you're okay. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, good boy. And then I can walk, and I always want to make sure that I can walk and, you know, keep, that he's really relaxed during the work. What we never want to do is ever, you know, teach the horse under any kind of stress because horses don't learn when they're fearful and you know besides elephants horses have the greatest memory in the animal kingdom so i always want to make sure after something really difficult and and challenging for the horse's body as the piaf is it's one of the hardest movements for the horse to do i always want to make sure you know they feel they feel cool with what we're doing and that he totally you know understood what i wanted him to do and that he feels happy and proud of himself for him accomplishing it. And that we, you know, the horse that leaves the arena today is the horse that comes to the arena tomorrow. So again, we always want to build the horse up to their best athlete without, you know, stress and pressure and, you know, riding at them. So I hope that was a good demo and that you were able to get something out of that and how you can apply that to your own horse at home. I want to thank Darby for being a great example and make it a great day.